guys welcome back to another episode of android application development tutorial with android studio in this episode we are going to learn about how to use a spinner view in your android application so the spinner view help uh, help us to select one item from a list of item or a set so here i am going to create an android application that will demonstrate how to place a spinner view and how to handle the click events of the spinner view in your android application so create a new Android Studio project. First we have to create the GUI for the application. So here we already have a text view available on the layout. Here I am going to make some modification for the text view. I change the text string ID into select country. Okay, now we have to add this string resource into the strings.xml file. So open up the strings.xml file and add a new string resource and specify the name as select country and the value is select country. Okay, now we have a text view on the activity main.xml file so now here I am going to add a spinner view also make some modification on the text view and throw it layout align parent left into true okay here I am going to add a spinner view I provide with us 0 dp and height as wrap content okay also provide an id for the spinner using android id attribute plus id i name it as spinner okay now specify the layout Android layout align parent right into true. Also, we have to place the spinner at the right side of the text view. So, Android layout to right of plus ID. ID of the text view is select country. Sorry, we have to provide an ID for the text to view. Android ID plus ID. I name it as country. Okay, we have to align the spinner at the right side of the text to view. So use the ID of the text to view. Okay, now we complete the coding. Now we have a text to view and a spinner on the activity main.xml file okay now we have to make the coding on the main activity.java file so first we have to create an object of spinner we have to initialize the spinner i name it as spinner also for adding the data adding the needed data into the spinner we need an adapter so here i am going to use an array adapter is handling with the care sequence I name it as adapter okay if you use if you want to display the data from database instead of array adapter you have to use a cursor adapter so here I am going to load the data from the strings.xml file so here I am going to create a string array I name name the string array as country names okay here I am going to specify some country names using item tag first one is India okay here I add some items some country names using the item attribute now go to main activity to Java file 
So here we have an array adapter. So first one, we have to initialize the spinner object. So here I am going to initialize the spinner object. Find the view by ID or not ID dot spinner. Okay. Typecast this one into spinner. Now we have to initialize the array adapter object. So adapter equal to use the array adapter dot create from resource. Use that method. First you have to specify the context object. I pass this as context object. Now you have to specify the resource, the data resource. So here the data is located on the strings.xml file. So and row it. It is available on r dot array dot. The array name is country names. Okay. And now you have to specify the layout for each item in the spinner. So here I am going to use a layout available on the Android system. So Android dot r dot layout dot symbol spinner item. This one. Okay, now we complete the, now we have an array adapter. Okay, now you have to specify the layout for each drop, each drop down list for the spinner. So adapter dot set drop down view resource. Here also I am going to use an inbuilt resource. So android dot r dot layout dot use this one symbol spinner drop down item okay the first one is each item layout and the second one is the drop down view resource okay now we have to add this adapter for the spinner adapter into the spinner so spinner dot set adapter and specify the adapter name okay now we have to create an event, a method that handle the events. So we have to create an on item selected listener. So spinner dot set on item selected listener. This one. This interface provide a method called on item selected. So if the user select an item from the spinner, this method will invoke. So here I am going to display the selected item using a toast. Make a test. Get base context. You can get the item using these two arguments, the position and the adapter view object. So parent dot get item at position. Use this method and specify the position. is selected okay now we have to specify the duration for the toast I make it as long now make the toast visible using show method okay now we complete all the coding now we can run the application. So now here I am going to run the application. So click the run button. Okay, now we have the application available on the virtual device. So here is the text view and the spinner. Now I select the spinner. We have the options. So here I am going to select a country. Select Australia. Now we got the output. Australia is selected. Now I make another selection. I select Pakistan. Now we got the DOS Pakistan is selected. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.